Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be learning about another property from compact linear operators. So, in this case, we have a lemma which states that composition of a compact linear operator with a bounded linear operator it, that is a compact operator again. So, this lemma states that if we define t from norm space x to the same norm space x as a compact linear operator here, then another operator S that is given to be a bounded linear operator on the same normed space, then the composition of this operator T and this operator S here, that is a compact operator. So firstly, we are going to prove that TS, that is a compact operator. For that, what do we do? We consider here some set B from the normed space S, which is a bounded set. This is our assumption. Now, because S is a bounded operator, it will map a bounded set to another bounded set. So, now because our uh, set B was bounded in nature, therefore it will map this, uh, this operator S would map this set B to another set, which we are calling as S of B to, uh, so this would be a bounded set. And because this is a bounded set and the operator T is a compact operator, this is given to us. Therefore, the set T of S of B, which is nothing but the composition of the operator T and S. So, we can write this as T S B. So, this set would be a relatively compact. This uh, set would be relatively compact in nature. Why? Because, because we have the property that the operator T is a compact operator. And if you see the pre, uh, the previous properties of compact linear operators, so you will find definitely find this property that the set is a relatively compact set. Now, because that's this set T S of B is a relatively compact set, we can call this operator T of S, which is the composition of operator T and S as a compact linear operator. So we obtain. TS as a compact linear operator. So that means one part of the proof is done. For the second part here, we have to prove that ST is a, also a compact operator. For that, we'll make use of the compactness criteria. So what does it state? We, in order to prove that ST is a compact operator, we consider a sequence XN in X, in the normed space, x which is a bounded sequence then because t is given to be because this operator t is given to be a compact operator so according to the compactness criteria the sequence when we apply this t onto the sequence x1 x2 x3 and so on so when we apply this to this sequence the uh, the new newly generated sequence t of xn that would have a convergent subsequence. This is according to the convergence criteria. And so that means we have a sequence Txn which has a convergent subsequence. Now if you see here, we have a property of continuous mapping. It states that suppose we have a mapping T from some metric space X which is uh, which has D as its operator, right? And Y, who, we, uh, where D tilde is its operator, then the mapping from X to Y is said to be continuous at a point X naught if and only if, suppose we have a sequence Xn converging to X naught, that should imply that T of Xn should converge to T of X naught. This uh, this result is quite common and all of us know this quite well. So now, if we apply the same result, instead of taking this mapping T, if we take the mapping S here, which is given to be, S is defined on the norm space X to X, and this is given to be a bounded linear operator. So now, because this is a bounded linear operator, so obviously it is continuous operator. Now, if this is continuous operator, so we can apply the same result here. 
नाउ वी आर सेइंग टी ऑफ एक्स एन हैज अ कन्वर्जेंट सब सीक्वेंस टी ऑफ एक्स एन के सो दैट मींस एस टी ऑफ एक्स एन के आल्सो हैज अ कन्वर्जेंट सब सीक्वेंस दिस सीक्वेंस आल्सो कन्वर्जेस व्हेन वी अप्लाई एस ऑन टू दिस मेंबर हियर Why? Because S being a bounded operator is also continuous in nature. So therefore, S T of uh, X N K this sequence is also convergent in nature. If this is convergent in nature, so again using the compactness criteria, we can say that S T, which is nothing but the composition of two operators S and T, is a compact operator. So this is the proof of this. theorem well that is it for this video thank you for watching